Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Ole Miss Rebels and the Texas A&M Aggies. Number 23 is a primetime player who's going to be depended on for a big game in tonight's contest. He's an offensive talent. He does everything well and has a wide repertoire of moves in his arsenal. The Aggies will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Aggies should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Third, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. He buries it. Let's get another look, Brad. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Controlling the ball. Fed the low block. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Shoots from outside. Knocks it down. Trying to pack it inside. He intercepts it. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Another turnover. we are not talking about the turnovers either. Gets it to fall. He'll regroup the offense. Pump fakes. And the fans here are loving the action. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? There was no doubt about that one. The skip pass is picked off. Pass is stolen. Terrific gamble on the interception. Barber handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Doesn't go. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball and man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Working around the perimeter. For the bucket. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Stolen ball. It's a fast break possibility for two. The lane. Stolen away. Fast break possibility coming. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defense. 
defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. The point guard receives the pass. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Scorches the net. Hensley handles the pass. Steal. Great job getting back defensively. He puts it in with contact and all. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Cross court. The shooting guard receives the ball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Brad, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dribble gives it up. Picked off. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He uses the shot fake for the bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. Five second count winding down. Takes the shot. Way off target. the low post defensively great anticipation in the steal you can see they did a great job studying in film they anticipated that ball coming to that post Terry steps to the line for the first time makes his first Block. 
The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Thinks about the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. First half update again, Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player, what do you think he's doing so far? He's no star of stars tonight, man. He shouldn't be the focus player because he has not only hurt himself, he's hurting his team. On the outside, he fires from long range. You betcha. The center in the paint. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. From right in the circle, it sticks. the inside leaning in trying to draw contact that was nice fakes a jumper listen to the crowd you can cut the intensity with a knife the luckiest fans are going nuts they're going bananas Brad. in the paint. Look at these fans. They're loving it. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important. Mental toughness. Jumps in. Can't get the shot to drop. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? He launches a three. Drains it. Gave it up. Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Trying to draw the foul. There was no doubt about that one. They work it around the perimeter. Kicks off the lazy pass. expression he says me Dick we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line well there's no doubt about it I think it's such an unbelievable plus it means you're playing aggressive basketball you're playing attacking basketball and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent nope Reese is emotionally fired up hey can you blame him Brad he's getting it done Number 32 steals the ball. From the top of the key, off the rim and no good.
reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He fires it up. The Aggies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Daddy's on fire. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Here's a double team. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Number 44 with the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two, perfectly executed. Goes out of bounds. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. And in and out. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny up the ball. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he's going to pick up the foul and, oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Throws it up. They pull up the lob and threw it down, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Puts the ball loose, and the ball goes out of bounds. He takes a three, goes in. Downtown, he nails the shot. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's going to go up. And a chance for a three point play. The old fashioned way, as we say. With the freebie. Sinks it. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. They work it around the perimeter. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. A 
the outside. From the baseline, he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. defensively. I thought a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. That spin move not successful, Dick. I thought a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dude. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Double team now, bad angle. Intercepted. He tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Here well, they come with a double team to stop it. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. The ball goes out of play. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. There's a double team waiting there. Taken away. the pick tries to get the D to bite Texas A&M is showing a bit of a run here things are going their way right now gave it up trying to draw some contact sinks it Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let's check your court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance really to win. And they get the turnover. The 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys that are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. At halftime, the Rebels are up by one. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Texas A&M has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do? I think I got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Cashed it in. It's two at the charity strike. They move it into the front court. Oh, what a strip, Red. There's a steal. Way out on top, controlling the ball. And he scores despite the hack. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals the ball. And here they come the other way in transition. Strips the ball. Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. For two, perfectly executed. That was absolutely phenomenal. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Picked out of the air. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. He shoots from the baseline. The Rebels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the outside, puts up the tray, makes the shot. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. They'll work it around the arc from three-point territory. It's good. The Rebels are up by seven. screen Dick a great battle down in the low post but I think the offense is gaining ground here yeah, he's getting great inside position has the great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they got the 45 degree angle which is essential in entering the ball to the post on the inside they say forget about it and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over Tries the three ball, sinks the shot. It's 
Step out on that screener. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good close position, and he does, and then he drops the step and the lower up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Tries for two. And the fans are going wild. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Kicks it out. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. the inside. There's the fake. Goes up for two. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. He shoots from the low post. Way off target. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On full screen, going to use it. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Aggies are down by four. It was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Buried it. The Aggies are behind by seven. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. For the bucket, Ole Miss are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. It's stolen. They push it up on the break for two. Got it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from the top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. He's a human spaceship. He's all out of space, Mr. Nestle. Can you believe it? The power forward takes the pass. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He intercepts it. Transition opportunity coming up. Scores it, and he's fouled. So, and one opportunity here. 
Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? With one attempt. He buries it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Ouch. That's what I call a hard screen. I think it's time for our focus player update. What have you noticed here in the second half? I tell you one thing, he is really playing poorly. He's really standing around. He's not creating any opportunities. And the same really has affected his teammates. Entry pass in the paint. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Working it around the perimeter. Hard foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing that basketball. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Picked off. Up and inside. For two, perfectly executed. Intercepted. Jumps into the defender. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Kicks off the lazy pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking up. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. Side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball, and let him try to beat us. Texas A&M have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. 
the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. In and out. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Up and inside. Three. He drains it. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Number 12 checks in for the first time. I'll tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Picks off the pass. Kick it back outside. We're going to move it around the perimeter. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. With the jump hook, and he missed. Looking for the foul. Dribble gives it up and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right time. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Picked off. Here's a double team. He shoots from the top of the key. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Now they work it around the perimeter. He gives him the fake. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Applying pressure, and he goes for the steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. With the free throw. Gets the first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. No doubt. Their 
shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Goes up for two. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Watch again. the high pick. Let's see that up close. Takes the pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. it to go. The replay will give us a better look. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. He puts it in with contact and all. If you let him, Brad. Using his size with a pop. Swats away the shot. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Isn't it great, Brad? Turnaround jumper. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Up and inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the pass. Gets up to make the block. The ball goes out of bounds. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Great defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. The Aggies are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. The small forward with the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. 
He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. He missed. Nice high post screen. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The power forward takes the feed. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Second shot, good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. We'll take the shot. He gets the bucket to fall. The Aggies will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. In the paint for two, finger roll. floor it's a two-point game the fans are gonna make it even tougher Brad you didn't expect him to quiet down did you dick the power forward gets the ball Dick, we look now that the game is over at our focus player and it was the defensive focus by the other team but he didn't have it tonight I'll tell you one thing Brad it's so essential for the star player to really respond he didn't respond at all in a positive way and it affected his teammates as well Texas A&M find themselves on the losing end of a good game. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying song for my partners Dick Vitale and Eric.